Hey guys, this is SP, and welcome back today to another Minecraft story mode video, and here we are on episode 3 of season 2. And before watching this video, I suggest that you do watch a playthrough of the game, whether that be mine, if you want to watch mine, I have got a playlist to it down below in the description, so make sure you go and watch that before this, because there will be spoilers in this video to the uh, the story. Okay, so with that said, today we are going to be playing through story mode, but we're going to be doing a few different decisions, and, and you can do certain decisions to lead to becoming a guard, and it kind of changes the way a lot of things work in the game, um, you get to know certain characters a bit more as well, which is, uh, is kind of cool so we're going to be uh, we're gonna be going through that and today yeah we're going to be uh, playing as a guard as jesse so here we are in the warden's office and radar is about to be put into the iron breath taker okay so uh yeah he's burning there okay and we now have a decision to make and this is what affects everything completely differently to what i did last time okay in my footsteps so here we go could start now go on and show me how well behaved you are join the good guy so last time, at this point, I said I refused to work for him as an associate and a guard, but this time I can say yes to it, okay? Don't do it, Jesse! Okay, so you see Raider is cast into this, this breath taker. Not very good. And then I, at this time I'm gonna do it. And see, it has completely changed the story now. And it's actually leads to the warden being a lot nicer to radar now, as you can Was see. It? You just had quite the harrowing experience, but don't worry. And you can now see Jesse guard, er, is in the guard associate. outfit. We'll be walking you out. Jesse, no. I don't know how much more of this I can take. And now in the next area, in the mushroom area, this completely changes everything. Don't look at me like that. I did this for you, radar. I'm trying to protect you. What? No. Well, well, well. Jesse, Jesse. And here we have Stella, who we're now a colleague of her instead of she ruled us, so it does change the way she is a little bit as well. I appreciate you letting me out of that ice. I can't let that disrupt the new professional relationship we have now, okay? I'm sure you understand. I knew a day of reckoning would come for my rival. Oh. You two know. I'm gonna go, still not your rival. <laughs> yeah, still not your rival. Never was, never will be. Careful, Warden. This one's crafty with the mind games. I've barely arrived and I'm already bossing you around. So, the only difference around this bit and the last bit now, really, is that instead of being in the orange uh, prison uh, uniform, he's inside in a guard outfit. So, that kind of. He's in. He's got a lot of the same scenes, but in a different outfit, basically. Stella's right. Commitment and loyalty to the admin's cause are cornerstones around here. The more friends stick together, the harder they make it for each other. So maybe readjust your concerns. I'm going to be like a really there good guard too. I'm going to be only loyal to him. Then, then friends. If you're the boss, then I'm loyal to you. Excellent. Just what I needed to hear. What are you hiding, Warden? Not every prisoner here wears all. It says that you made him admit the truth, but it seems like whatever you do, he always admits the truth anyway. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I didn't really do anything extra to make him admit the truth. I was going to suggest. I'll have your job before you know it, Warden. Be careful what you wish for, Stella. It's not as great a job as you think. So here we are at the mushroom pit, okay, and uh, yeah, you're going to see a completely different. Uh, uh, different side to it to uh, to get food as what we did before. New arrivals, show them around, would you? Thanks. Excuse me? <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> we don't have a problem, do we? <laughs> I need a moment. He does not just listen to don't Stella. Listen That's to good her. to see. <laughs> She's not as important as she thinks she is. Oh, you are certainly one to talk, Jesse. Ta-ta, Jesse. I'll be at my post supervising a more impressive cell block. And that's like just don't a zombie mind. Nothing that impressive, are really. You? I wouldn't blame you. You okay, Radar? Wish I was. I need something to eat. Get my strength back. You're in the right place. Guests make mushroom stew here. He's got his cookies. Guess I <laughs> just need some mushrooms then. So now walking around here, we get different things. Now, if we go and talk to Anthony or Big B or whoever you want to call him, uh, he'll actually give us a, a bit of a different so fighting talk. Over a tiny handful of mushrooms is the only way they can eat. Mm, mm, yep. Mm, so mm, guards get cookies. I'll do 
guards get cookies? This is completely different to the last okay, time. Look, I thought you knew. The guards have a delicate supply of ingredients, none of which are approved by the Take warden. these cocoa beans. I don't have any wheat for you, but I can tell you who does. That pal of gruesome can set you up with the wheat. He's I can source. reason with him. Okay. I could get him. I so this is completely to different to what I did last time. Guy. Oh, no. He's absolutely unreasonable. You're gonna have to remind him that you're an associate and he's a guest. And we will do that. Thank you very much, Big B, for your help. <laughs> We're gonna go and get Radar some food then. See, he gave us a cocoa bean. So all we need to do is go and get them off of this guy, okay? So, yeah. Last time this guy didn't give us anything, but this time he will give us uh, the wheat that we need, so, okay? So, uh, I hear you might have some wheat. I need two of them. I don't know who you've been talking to, but it ain't true. Wheat is considered contraband in this facility. You know how things you know work. How things work around here. I'm an associate. You're a guest. Oh, you're gonna play that part, are you? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <sighs> you better remember this. I want special treatment from now on. Yeah, yeah. Mister, Mister, he's got a, a, a dark secret. Well, not a dark Come secret, here. but he has a secret. Wheat and cocoa beans. All yours, Jesse. No way. I've been down here for too long. So this guy came at you before when you had the mushroom. Now he comes at you for the cookie stuff. Whoa! Nothing personal. I'm just mega, mega hungry. Ah, give me that. Still very easy to take down. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just so hungry. Uh, <clears throat> hello? What's going on in here? Jesse? I expect far better from my associates than this. Now, last time... The cookie's not that big of a deal. No, cookie's not <laughs> He's that getting nervous with the cookies. But last and time, just I just stayed silent at this point, but I'm going to do something different mm -hmm. this time. <laughs> you all know that weapons are strictly forbidden at the Sunshine Institute. So who does this belong to? You might as well just come out and tell me. So instead of saying it, so much yeah, I'm going to say he attacked me. Instead of keeping my mouth shut. Attacked me with it. Hmm. What refreshing honesty. As an associate, what I've got to be loyal. What refreshing lie you mean, you rotten snitch. You know that misbehavior means getting sent down a level. And that means... <laughs> to the zombie minds he goes. Zombie mind. Shouldn't have attacked me. It's his own fault. He deserves yes. it. <laughs> Perhaps a little time harvesting rotten flesh will teach you something. Take him away. Well done, associate. You've successfully apprehended. So compared to my last playthrough, this is completely different. I'm now on his good side. I'm a, being a good and associate, now doing I can things make a for him. Radar. So it's all working well. So now what we need to do is go and craft a cookie for radar, which is different to the mushroom stew we had to uh, we had to craft before. So you get a lot of different uh, things. Right? I think there's a crafting table right here. There we go. Let's use the old crafting table. I hope you're learning how to be a cooperative champion. But the admin's voice playing still does happen when you walk over it. You can't avoid that. To be reminded of your potential. It's a recording? Come on. So now, yeah, we'll actually use the crafting table. So you put your cocoa beans in the middle. You put your wheat at either side. Oh, okay, apparently I, I cannot left click. There we go. Wheat there. Wheat there. Create the cookie. And we have, uh, we've got a cookie for radar now. Well, it's not much, but hopefully it'll help radar get his strength back. I'd say the mushroom stew would have been better, but the cookie does the job. And then Big B would say otherwise about the cookie. Alright, let me go ahead and give it. Okay, it's really annoying, like, to actually, like, press other things. There we go. Eat this. Get your strength back. We still have the admin talking in the background. Yeah, sure, thanks, whatever. I'm gonna have to really step it up. I mean, this is prison. So from now on. I'm prison radar. Prison radar. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna get my own mushrooms. Make my own stew. Disregard my bedtime. That's the spirit. Hey, spirit radar. You look awesome. So there you go. Right. So a prisoner X escapes, and uh, you get a little bit of a different uh, dialogue from uh, the uh, uh, the guard, the big V guard, right now. Prisoner X has escaped. It also shows there's a lot of people you don't need to talk to that we did talk to in the last playthrough that you don't, don't guests, need that. Please report to the nearest lounge. I think they mean cell. And he talks to me personally right now. Yep, you should get in one too. You haven't had your protocol X training yet. 
So we go into that as well. That's kind of how you get everyone into the cell together. Even though I'm an associate, I'm, I'm going in. So <laughs> there you go. It just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Prisoner X. You're doing this whole associate thing, right? So see how this is a completely different thing? Maybe you can get the warden to, like, promote you. So rather than getting, like, sent the to the zombie mines for getting in trouble, we get promoted kind of to get like down there. That's the uh, the difference to get to Prisoner X's cell. Huh. Uh, so uh, we're going to use that to our advantage. Like me. Working the joy to our benefit. Prison radar approves. <laughs> I like prison radar. <laughs> okay, it's a plan. You stay here and rest up. I'm going to find a way to get us to cell block X. Roger that, Jesse. So, when we got here, okay, we still use the same methods that we did the last one. There's just a slightly different twist to uh, to get into the, uh, the, the the zombie mines this time. So, to that guy's cell, we go again. That oxblood guy sure looks suspicious. If I can catch him doing something against the rules, maybe I can get promoted. So, let's go ahead and uh, use his door. We're gonna go into his cell and have a little bit of a snoop around. We know what we're looking for here this time because we've already done it, so we're all right. Let's go ahead and um, uh, let's go and l let's listen to this wall first. Mm. Oh, I'd never heard this the first playthrough, but you actually hear a cow's noise. Very, very quiet, but you do. Okay, right. Let me see. Can I uh, can I remove it now? Yeah, we can remove this wall as well. Mm. It is possible to completely mess it up, basically. Uh, Mushroom. What the heck are you doing here? Sounding me like I could ask you the same question. Yeah. Mind explaining what you're doing in my most private of spaces? Visitors ain't welcome. And you What are you doing? Are Being an associate, we can we can say what we want to him now. How about you explain what you're doing. I'm questioning someone who's about to lose a lot of teeth if they don't mind their tune. If you hadn't noticed, you left the hole open. So now instead of Nerm walking in, we get a completely different, uh, completely different uh, idea. Oh, come on! There you go, we get the warden coming in. Excellent work, new associate. You see, this is how you get promoted. So that's how we get promoted this time. Up. That's how we get to the zombie minds. We do not get sent first, there for being bad. We get promoted to get there. Maintain order. This creature cannot be allowed to undo the balance of the mushroom. Now, I've already tried this once off camera, and you can physically shear the mushroom, the mushroom, but I'm not going to do it this time, okay? You can you can make it into a normal cow, but I don't want to do that this time. I want to see what happens as an associate. I want to see what happens if I don't shear it, just to find out. No way. I'm going to be nice to that guy over there. Deal with it. My story is now changing. Deal with... It. Do I lose my guard now? Take it away. No. Because my story Not just changed because that. I want to want to see what happens now. I trusted you, Jesse. You are no longer an associate. You've been demoted to guest, and as a consequence for your actions, dig it up. So if you did go ahead and do that, what the heck are okay. You doing? You a lesson, if you Jesse. did go ahead and cut no the uh, the make it back to a mushroom, you would get promoted and sent down to you the zombie your mines. Friends will be relocated to the as a promotion. Levels. However, I have done it the as uh, I've, I've been demoted. I just now, want to see what happened there. Okay. Isn't this a treat? My rambunctious rival is now my poor prisoner. Get moving. So there you have it. We played as a guard in Minecraft Story Mode. You can actually go down to Zombie Mines, but it doesn't actually change any gameplay from there, really. You, uh, you know, all, all the same things basically happen, whether you're an associate or not. But there was a lot of differences in that particular area, so that's why I, uh, I wanted to show that off. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. I'm going to be showing off a few more alternate things that change your story and stuff. Just a few different paths to what I uh, I took. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you want to see that. And leave a like if you uh, are enjoying the Minecraft Story Mode videos as well. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys next time.